beginning of January not only marks the start of the new year, but is the time, of course, when those in search of self-improvement make resolutions as well. And with fast-paced lifestyles and pressure from work, reducing stress is a common one here. Xinhua reports that a survey by job search website Jiaopin.com found that 70% of white-collar workers in the country risked developing health problems as a result of being overworked. The survey, which polled 5,000 white-collar workers, revealed almost 45% of respondents said they often experience physical discomfort at their jobs. 40% said they had difficulty controlling their tempers at the office, and about 47% said they felt depression from work. And one popular way to reduce stress here is through traditional Chinese medicine or TCM treatments. But how much do they cost? Well, according to Royal Massage, which is one of the largest TCM treatment centers, an hour-long full body massage costs around 25 US dollars, while a foot massage is slightly cheaper from about 15 to 20 dollars. The center also offers ba gua or cupping. Glass cups create a vacuum on the patient's skin, usually with the help of heat. In addition to relieving stress, the treatment is supposed to rid the body of impurities and improve circulation. It's also used to treat colds and muscle injuries. Gua sha, or skin scraping, is another common TCM treatment. Like cupping, it's supposed to boost circulation and is thought to improve the immune system and help with fatigue. At Royal Massage, both cupping and scraping cost about $5 per session. But some Chinese are taking a more creative approach to relieving stress. Those who think laughter is the best medicine gather for group laughing sessions. While others aren't just using their pillows to sleep on, organized group pillow fights have started popping up around the country. And now we're moving on to another popular resolution, losing weight. Reuters reports that some estimates put China's overweight population at 429 million. That's about one-third the entire population. But this year, it's easier and less financially risky for Chinese to sign up for a gym membership. That's because with new rules set by the National People's Congress, consumers can pay monthly instead of by the year. The move came after scandals rocked the industry last year, according to people.com.cn, one of China's oldest and largest fitness companies, Nirvana, closed five fitness centers at the start of last year. Those who had paid for a year-long membership were left without a gym and without their money. But with the more flexible pricing system currently in place, let's talk about how much Chinese have to spend today. According to Yakol.com, Beijing's large fitness centers such as Bally's, Ozone and Hosa Fitness all offer monthly memberships. Fees typically range from about $25 to $45. In addition, members can pay quarterly or each time they go. Quarterly fees are around $50, while charges for a one-time visit are typically between $2 and $10. And don't go anywhere, because when we come back, we're talking about the price to keep two other common resolutions, traveling more and saving money. That's up next.